All right, YouTube, how's it going? Hope you're all good. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how you can massively speed up your workflow in Final Cut Pro. Let's get to it. So, you bought yourself a nice fancy camera, 4K, 120, all that nice slow motion, 10-bit footage, but then you put it into your computer, try and open it in Final Cut Pro, and beach ball. You simply can't edit, drop frames, all that rubbish the stuff we can't stand. So how do we deal with that? So basically, you can create what are called proxies. So what are proxies? Proxies are basically a duplicate copy of your existing videos, but in a much smaller file size and a much lower quality. This allows the computer to play back your project in real time a lot quicker, a lot faster. No more drop frames, no more beach balling. Awesome stuff. So a couple of downsides to proxies are that you're obviously creating duplicate copies of your existing footage, which is going to take up a bit more space on your hard drive. But once you've finished your project, you can actually delete those proxies forever. You don't ever need to use them again. And to do that, I've made a video of that before. If you want, I'll link that here or here. I don't know where these things go, but you can check that out. It not only shows you how to delete the proxies, but also how to reduce those massive Final Cut Pro file sizes that we have for hundreds of gigabytes. So go check that out. Right, so let's get to it. So here we have a 4K clip, 10 bit, 100 frames per second, which is gonna massively slow the computer down. And if you have a full project of these sort of video files, you can just simply forget about editing. It's gonna be an absolute nightmare. So proxies to the rescue here. So if I play this back, you can see all the skip frames. If you look here, it's just jumping. It's ridiculous. So what we're gonna do now is delete this clip because we simply don't wanna use it. And then we're going to import so file, import, media, and then we're gonna find the clip that we want. So in this case, it's this one here. But what you'll see on the right hand side here is create proxy media, which will be unchecked if you've never done this before. So obviously in this case, we're gonna to want to check that box, keep it at ProRes proxy, and keep the frame size at 50%, that's what I do. And then simply import selected. So basically now what Final Cut Pro is doing in the background is it's going to create a copy of that video clip, but in a much smaller file size, much lower quality, much smaller format that we can then easily edit with. Now, if you have multiple clips that you want to import, then obviously this is going to take a little bit longer, but it will save you a lot of time in the long run while you're editing and you're not going to want to strangle the computer. So it's a no brainer really. Right, so that's done. Here's our clip. We're gonna put that back into the timeline and we're gonna play that back What? It's not, it's not working. I'm only messing, I know what I'm doing. Right, so up in the top right hand corner, you have a drop down menu that says view. So what you need to do here is click on that. And as you go down towards media playback, you can see that it's got optimized and original media ticked, which is playing back the original clip, which is your 4K, 100 frames per second, 10 bit footage, beach balling piece of sh Right, so what you need to do here is simply press proxy only. Now if we play this back, let's see what happens. Look at that, it's not even dropping any frames. I'm a genius. Well, Final Cut Pro's a genius, not me. But I hear you say the last clip was in slow motion. This one's playing back at full speed. Well observed, my friend, well observed. So with this being 100 frames per second clip, in a 25 frames per second timeline. That allows me to slow it down by 25%. So I just go here, slow, 25%. And there we have it. If I play that back now, I'm not even gonna wait. I'm not even gonna wait for those little balls to finish. I'm just gonna go ahead and play the clip. I'm that confident. So here we go. Okay, that. Look at that, 100 frames per second, 4K, 10 bit glory, playing back like it's nothing. Pleasing myself there. Hooray, yay! Right, so enough of that. You've finished your video now and you want it to export. So this last bit is crucial. Before you export, you need to make sure that you do this one step. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. 
So before you export, you need to tell Final Cut Pro that you want it to use your original video files again to export your video in full 4K. This way, Final Cut Pro is going to render out your final video using your original video files that are 4K full resolution as opposed to the proxies that we created which are obviously going to be NAF. Simply do exactly what you did before, click on view but this time change it back from proxy only to optimized media and then you're ready to render your video. So that's it, tutorial over, come on, this is good. No? I thought, it, I thought it was good. If I were me, I mean, I am me. If I were you, I'd hit the little like button. You know, give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe. I don't know. Leave a comment. We'll have a chat. How's your day going? Mine's not too bad. Not too bad. Getting sick of this COVID malarkey like. Doing my nutting. as a thumbnail. It's my thumbnail. Tell me what you think. Everyone goes mental about these thumbnails.